Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure view. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Bashroom Biter Stegoceratops. Now, back when the Jurassic World figures were leaked, all the way back in, I believe it was January? Either January or February, but the toys for Jurassic World were leaked, and this was one of the figures that they leaked. And I was not impressed with this figure. It didn't look bad or anything, just... The concept of a Stegosaurus-Triceratops hybrid, and it was going to be in a movie. At that point, I kind of thought, yeah, this movie might suck. At the end of the day, Jurassic World is... In my opinion, Jurassic World is okay. It's nothing special, but it's just okay. And I'm kind of glad this wasn't in the movie. However, it was supposed to be in the movie, but it wasn't. And I'm actually very happy about that. But the figure itself is actually not bad. In fact, I'd even say it's... You know, one of my favorites out of the whole dress world line, but yeah. Anyway, let's take a closer look. Starting off with the paint on this figure. And the paint on this figure is, to be fair, it's not too bad. Most of the figure is this uh, kind of like dirty green color, which looks very nice. We have the JW logo right there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's right there. We have the Dino Damage, which is red with uh, bits of bone in there. and It's not as bad as on this figure. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'd rather not have the dino damage at all, but at the same time, it doesn't look as bad as the Ankylosaurus, so, yeah, I can live with that. We have the same coloring of the JW logo right here on the uh, dorsal plates. Not on the insides, though, just the outer sides. The horns are orange, as well as the beak, and bits of the crest here, as well as the smaller horns on the crest here. And the eyes are painted gold, for some reason, with slants for pupils, kind of like the Velociraptors, which I don't get. I would have much preferred if they were just normal, you know, circles, but whatever. And that's pretty much it in terms of paint. I mean, the underside is the same color as the JW logo here, but other than that, that's really it for the paint. There's not much, but to be fair, the paint on this figure isn't terrible. It actually looks kind of nice on this figure, so the paint actually gets a pass. There are some minor, uh, you know, mistakes on this figure, but again, the paint gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure is basic. So, the legs can move about forwards this much and backwards that much, or, yeah, that much. The front legs can do the same, except not really. The other front leg can move backwards that much, and forwards that much. And yeah, that's it for the legs. For the tail here, if you move it from side to side, then the Stegoceratops will do its head thing, which isn't too bad. It actually feels smooth, and I like how this feels, but yeah. So that feels nice. But pushing it downwards, and the head can come out like a turtle, which, again, I don't get why, but okay. I mean, alright, I guess it's supposed to be, like, ramming into something, but at the same time, it's just... It just looks more like a turtle, and I'm not really the biggest fan of this. But, yeah, it's not as weird as the Ankylosaurus, but it's still kind of weird. And that's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. It's not bad, it's just basic, so it gets a pass and a half. Now we'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpt on this figure is, again, it's not bad. Even though this is a hybrid, like a stupid Stegosaurus Triceratops hybrid, the sculpt isn't bad. There are some things that I don't necessarily like. Uh, the dino damage, even though I said it didn't look too bad earlier, I would still prefer if it was gone. But, yeah, that's one thing I don't like about the sculpt. The horns are kind of like, you know, coming off the figure. Or not coming off, but like, it looks like they're kind of detached and they're ready to break, which... Yeah, that doesn't look all that great. And, of course, on the other side, we have screw holes. We have a four, and this one is just hidden by the leg. So, yeah. Other than that, the sculpt on this figure is alright. I mean, I guess if I have anything else to say, I guess the tail is a little too short, but... Yeah, other... Oh, yeah, um... Really quick, um, that's something I really don't like about most of these Bashroom Biters figures. Most of the time, the tails are just sticking up, which doesn't look good. It just looks like it's, you know, about to, you know, take a dump on F something. 
I would have preferred if the tail was just normal, just, you know, regular, just down, but it's up, so, yeah. I mean, I guess it's easier to grip it, but I think kids could, like, grip it, you know, easily if the tail was normal, but, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the sculpt. Uh, there are a lot of things that are wrong with the sculpt, but for the most part, it's not terrible, so the sculpt, it gets a pass and a half. Now we'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing is... Okay. The detailing on the head, I will admit, is pretty nice. Right here we have some scales, which look pretty nice. And the crest looks uh, very well as well. And then the neck is, you know, just wrinkly. And I'm not going to say what that looks like, but just, you know, just know that that looks like something. And the detailing on the body is not great looking. It's, it's very, it looks kind of fuzzy. It actually kind of reminds me of, like, um, like, a game with, like, very bad graphics of, like, the details are, like, you know, like, almost fuzzy looking. And this is what I kind of get off of this figure, but, yeah. The detailing for the dino damage is alright. The detailing for the front and back legs look pretty nice as well, so I can't appreciate that. But, yeah. The dorsal plates are detailed fairly well. Not great, but just okay. So, yeah. Going to the tail, we have more creases, which look okay. And the dorsal plates here look fine as well. And the Stegosaurus uh, spike tails, or the tail spikes, look alright as well. And underneath, we have more wrinkles and detailing, which, again, looks okay. Oh! There's a screw hole that I missed, and going back to the paint, they really skipped out because they painted the front half of the bottom neck, but yeah, it just turns green, which, yeah, that's pretty lazy, so yeah, that was Hasbro. And that's pretty much it for the detailing. It's not the best, but it's, it's not terrible either, so it gets a pass and a half, so yeah. Anyway, that's it for the Stegoceratops. Should you get this? I'd say no. I'd say don't get any of these Stress World figures by Hasbro. These are just awful in every sense of the word. If you have any of these, then you're not. You're probably not going to sell them for much. Someone out there might sell them for like a good chunk, and someone might buy them, but yeah, don't waste your money on these. These aren't good. And I know I've said in a previous video, I could say so many things about Hasbro. The scaling is off. Everything about their figures are just terrible, but... The thing is, I really can't complain too much because, you know, Mattel owns the rights right now, so, yeah. So, there's no point in complaining, so, yeah. The Sega Stereotops as a whole is okay. This is the best figure in the Jurassic World line, in my opinion. Uh, some people might say otherwise. Uh, some people might say the big, or the bad boy Indominus Rex figure is good. I don't have that, so, yeah. This is, in terms of, like, Jurassic World figures, this isn't bad, but it's still, you know, not really the best either. So, don't get this figure, and if you want to know how big this figure is, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. You can get this figure for, alright, I don't know how much this figure is, but I wouldn't, if you can get this figure for a cent, then maybe, but don't pay any more than a dollar. This figure is just gross, but yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zek out.